Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, it's garage ed time, and boy, we got a good one for you today. We actually got a science experiment going on. It's all about the brake fluid. I actually fired these things up a little bit earlier. I got them boiling, so I hope it works again. I want to fire them up for you. Let me get my lighter. What, what are you doing with my lighter? Oh, John, I was watching an episode from a couple of years ago, and you guys showed how to make a wiring harness using shrink tubing and, and putting it all together that way. I think it's pretty cool. Dave, that's impressive, but you know what? It's not electrical. Let's Dude. take the brakes, I know. I need the lighter. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up. We're gonna get this going. Hopefully, by the end of our little demo, we'll be able to prove to you what brake fluid's all about. I love it, and brake fluid is hygroscopic, which means it absorbs water, and that lowers the boiling point of the brake fluid, and that's not a good thing. And that is why there are different types of brake fluids. And absolutely, that gives us a perfect opportunity to look at brake fluid. First and foremost, look at your manufacturer's service manual, but it does come in all types and sizes. This is dot three, dot four, dot five, and dot 5.1. Well, what does that all mean? Well, you can look at this chart here. The higher the number, the higher the boiling point. That's wonderful. If you have a car that carries dot three and you can put dot four in it, you can supersede the number to a higher boiling point. But be careful, dot three, dot four, and dot 5.1 are all glycol based. Dot five is silicone based, they don't mix. So really, if you have a military vehicle, motorcycle, or something that calls specifically for dot five, just use dot five. Other than that, you can use these ones as long as it's a higher number, but your best bet's always to look at your manufacturer service manual. But you know, brake fluid's awesome, but Dave, you know how to test it. That's even cooler. Yeah, there's three pretty cool ways to do it. Now this is just a, a brake fluid tester you can pick up and you activate it, drop it into the brake fluid, and you can see that ours right here is indicating in the red. Not good. Which means, yeah, the moisture content's awfully high and we at least need a flush of the fluid in our brakes. Uh, I like this one. This is kind of neat. It reminds me of a kaleidoscope when you're a kid. You can take a drop of the brake fluid and put it on this refractometer right on the lens there. And you close this, hold it up to the light, just like your kaleidoscope, and it can indicate the amount of moisture that is in the brake fluid. And this thing's uh, not even registering for glycol, which means we are, we were pretty much all, all water in this case. And again, you need a brake job. And this one's a little more simple. This is uh, some test strips you can pick up. And we're gonna drop this into our brake fluid, swish it around just a little bit. When you pull it out, you can see it's starting to change a little bit already. You look up the scale and see how much moisture is in your brake fluid versus glycol, and it's starting to turn already. I suspect it's gonna get darker, as we've seen from the other examples, and when it gets into that pink, you know it is time to change your brake fluid. Yeah, and it's important to flush your brake fluid. People don't think of that as a maintenance item. You get a condition called brake fade. What happens is it boils, like ours is boiling here. We'll get to this in a second. And then the pedal, air's compressible and liquid's not. So you start getting that spongy pedal. So Dave, that's an incredible test, but flushing your brakes through it, that's a maintenance item as well. But I'll tell you what, I blinded you with science, didn't I? Science! Woo! Take a look at this. So this one's actually dot three, and this one's dot 5.1. Now, it's not a control, we're not rocket scientists, but we've been boiling it for a little while, and you can see this one's going crazy. The dot three, this one's been sitting open for a while. We got a lot of water content in it. Here's my dot 5.1, man. You can see it kind of swirling, but it's not even close to boiling. Pretty cool demo. It's really cool, and it's it shows how important brake fluid really is in your car. It's a safety issue, and obviously it's something you wanna check pretty frequently. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, Dave, successful brake segment.